Hey guys, Matt Starr here. I am at the Atrium Studios and this is owned by Tommy Lee. We're in this beautiful drum room. The whole place has a killer vibe. It's amazing. There's a koi pond out there. It's it's so rad, as you would expect. And um, our engineer is Smiley Sean, who's the house engineer here, and he's gotten incredible sounds. And what we're gonna do right now are some samples. And uh, why you would do that is a couple reasons. One, if you're at a studio like this, and you're like, this is an amazing sounding drum room, I wanna grab some samples if down the line we're working on some other music and we don't have the opportunity to come back here, maybe you could put those in on your other tracks. Another thing is if the drummer just misses a hit and you realize that later, uh, you can fix it, you know? Um, or you just wanna add something later, you wanna build, I mean, some producers construct a whole groove and they, you know, they get, accented and unaccented hi-hats, and then they make or whatever they want for the thing. So there's a lot of options, especially with the way technology is. So doing samples is, is really a very simple process. You gotta have patience. You're just gonna hit the drum the way you hit it and let it fully decay. Don't talk, don't start talking, don't do that. Don't be one of those guys, just let it decay Okay, and then go on to the next one. And each drum I'm gonna hit probably like three or four times because each hit will be a little bit different. Okay, so uh, we're gonna start with the snare. And typically what I would do, uh, if it's like for a bigger record, I would mute the cymbals. I'd put like a, a blanket or a towel over the cymbals because everything kind of rattles a little bit when you do this, But and the toms as well. So snare. Okay, so that's my typical hit, which is a rim shot. So now I'm gonna do center hits, which means not hitting the rim, and I'm gonna use the butt end. It's gonna, it's gonna have more bottom end to it. It's different, just a different sound. And I don't hit quite as hard. Okay, toms, so I take the snare off. Okay, floor tom, same deal as here. That's fine. Uh, so let's check it out. Floor time. Okay, crash. So this is the 20 inch rude thin. And I always do that at the end. I just touch the edge because if you wait for this thing to die, you'll be here for like 60 seconds. So unless it's the last hit of the record and you want it to like go on forever, you don't need all that. And when I hit the cymbal, kind of glance it, you know, I don't go straight through it. Okay, now 22 inch crash. Okay, one more.
And then one more where I kind of clobber it because this cymbal is pretty dynamic. So you, that was kind of more of a medium hit. Okay, now kick drum, and I'm gonna put my hands on the toms. So I'll do beater in the kick drum, like buried. And then beater off, which will be a little more low end and it'll ring a little longer. Okay, hi-hat. Closed, really tight. And then loose. you always end anything you do it just makes you look like you totally knew what you were doing okay so that's the sample part enjoy and when you guys make recordings and put these samples on there send them to me and warren we want to hear them